Good afternoon. This is KOCO Chief Meteorologist Damon Lane. Today is December 10th. Here's your noon weather briefing. Looking outside your window, you see clear skies, a lot of snow on the ground still, but we had some cold temperatures early this morning. These are low temperatures across Oklahoma here, out around Camargo ceiling, gotten out to four and five degrees below zero here in the metro. Eastern Oklahoma, about nine degrees above zero. Although looking at Will Rogers World Airport, we actually got down to five degrees above zero, up around Tulsa, seven to 14 degrees above zero. But that five degree morning low temperature here in Oklahoma City was the coldest morning low temperature that we have had in OKC since February of 2011 when we got down to five below. Needless to say, it was cold this morning. And as we look at even the low wind chills we had this morning, it felt like 15 degrees below zero in Sealing and Camargo. It felt like close to 7 to 10 degrees below zero around Chickasha here in Oklahoma City. The winds were very light, but our wind chills were down around zero degrees. Norman got down to two degrees below zero with that wind chill. Looking at visible satellite, you can still see snow that stretches in across southwestern Oklahoma. As you move into the metro here and into northeastern Oklahoma and even picking up some of our area lakes pretty nicely here, you can see Lake Hefner right here where I'm pointing with my mouse right here. That's Lake Hefner. And again, you can see that the snow is certainly on the ground. It's going to stay on the ground for a couple days as temperatures will be quite cold. We are still running an unbelievable streak here with below freezing temperatures. It has now been 136 straight hours here in Oklahoma City, that we have been below freezing. Now, right now, I'm recording this a little after the 11 a.m. hour. I do expect that we will get above freezing by 1 o'clock today here in Oklahoma City. But still, to go this long below freezing, that is certainly a very, very impressive cold weather streak. And it looks like we're going to remain below normal for a few days, but at least our high temperatures will get above freezing. Now, this map that you're looking at right here, this is for Tuesday afternoon, and this is the departure from normal. When you see anything here in the blue and the green shading, this would all indicate below normal temperatures. So we are still seeing our temperatures even about 10 degrees below normal here across the metro. As you go into Kansas here, temperatures about 5 degrees below normal. But look at this. All of us here still seeing below normal temperatures, except down around South Carolina and into Georgia. As we go into Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon still seeing below normal temperatures here across Oklahoma by about 10 degrees and even in towards the upper Midwest around Minnesota and Iowa. Temperatures running about 20 degrees below normal. As we go into Thursday afternoon, finally start to see a little bit of change here. We start to see some above normal temperatures pop up in around Nebraska there. Temperatures just a few degrees above normal, about five to eight degrees, still seeing below normal temperatures here in Oklahoma and into Texas. As we go into even Saturday afternoon, still finding below normal temperatures by about 10 degrees here in Oklahoma, finding some warmth Hey, they'll take that down around the Gulf Coast there. But then as we go into next Monday, we start to see things begin to change here and temperatures finally begin to return to back above normal. We'll begin to thaw out even more so here. Temperatures in Oklahoma by next Monday will likely be running about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. That means temperatures likely in the 50s. And then as we go into late next week, we start watching another shot of cold air moving in. It appears that right now the coldest air will remain, oh, I'd say down around from the Mississippi River and into the east here and towards the western part of the United States here in the, in the Central Plains. We'll begin to see temperatures remain above normal, but you'll see that we're really right on that dividing line. Needless to say, we're hoping that that cold air will stay to the east, not to the west here. I think we kind of want a little bit of a break. And as we look at the Arctic Oscillation here, this really tells a picture pretty nicely here in Oklahoma as far as where temperatures are likely going to be headed. When you see the Arctic Oscillation begin to go more positive, that means that temperatures will likely be a little bit warmer, mainly warmer and uh, above normal. But as they start to drop below the zero line right here, that means that temperatures are likely going to start dropping below normal. And it looks like as we go closer to Christmas, we're likely going to see another round of colder temperatures return. We'll talk more about temperatures. That's really going to be the big weather story coming up tonight on KOCO 5 News at 5, 6, and 10. See you then.